Hi guys, welcome back. Firstly, I'd like to say a massive thank you to anyone that's liked, commented or subscribed on any of the content to date. Um, it really does make a massive difference and it inspires us to continue um, making content. It is difficult. Um, we both have full time jobs, myself and the other Dan that created the channel. Um, we we have full time jobs and we sort of juggle our week around and trying to create content as well. So it can be tough at times, but it is um, super rewarding when we're getting the comments and the feedback from you guys. I and mean, it really does inspire me and him to continue and keep going. Um, so if you're new to the channel, um, welcome. My name's Dan Mogridge. I'm one half of the um, partnership that started Design Mountain. Dan Kemp is the other guy. We're two Dans. Um, we previously worked together and we just wanted to create the channel to share our experience and knowledge and just have a bit of fun really we've never done youtube before but um we're enjoying the journey um sort of learning as we go along um so yeah a little bit about me i'm, I'm product design background um i've done luminaire and mechanical design uh, boat building and consumer based product design and i now do design consultancy based in the uk Dan um, does building design and architectural stuff. You may have seen a few of his videos. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about us. And um, if you are enjoying the channel, please like and subscribe and hit the notifications button so you know um, every week there'll be new content coming. Um, and this week, we're just gonna continue the theme on SOLIDWORKS. It's the CAD package that I use. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit and show you about blocks and how I think they can be helpful. There's loads of different ways um, that they can be useful, but I'm just going to show you one today. So, all right, guys, let's uh, jump in and take a look. So we're just going to jump in and start a new part. Now, blocks you essentially create from sketch geometry. So I'm going to select the front plane. I'm going to sketch on there and I'm just going to show you, I've already created some blocks, but I'm just going to show you how simple they are to create and then it will give you the um, sort of basic idea, hopefully, and you can have a play yourself. So basically got, um, I'm just going to create a cam, so you're going to call it 25mm at the bottom, 15 at the top, and then going to make a line that is tangent on either side to both circles and then trim away the middle And then I'm just going to put a 5mm hole in the middle. So that is um, going to be our cam essentially. And then to create a block, what you do is select the sketch geometry, right click, make block. Block entities are selected here. And insertion point is optional, but it's quite nice to just let it go OK and it's created a block in your sketch. Then if you want to save this in a file location and um, use it multiple times, you can right click on here, go save block. I'm just going to go on the desktop for now and say call it a cam. It saves as a SOLIDWORKS block. Then if we come out of here, we'll delete that one. Come out of here and then I'll show you from scratch. So now we've got our save block and I've got a couple of other bits. So we'll go new part. Blocks, you have to be inside a sketch to insert. And I've got the um, blocks uh, pop up here so I can go insert block there but for those of you who haven't got it you go tools blocks insert browse 
and then it was on the desktop cam open and um, blocks use relations like you would as sketch relations or um, assembly relations so I'm just going to drop it there on the intersection of the planes and notice how it treats it um, if it's not fully defined it'll allow it to move and I'm just going to go uh, insert another block browse I'm going to select a follower I'm just going to place it there and now I'm going to make that coincident and that coincident so it stays vertical I'm going to make that tangent So it's partially doing what you expect, but it's not following the profile of the cam, which is what you expect to do. And this is because um, SolidWorks doesn't know, we haven't told it. So what we need to do is define the path um, based on the outer geometry of the cam. And um, I'll show you how we can do that. So if we double click on the block, it comes up blue so you can edit the block in context. Um, if we come up to tools, sketch tools, make path. If we select the outer profile of the block and go OK. And now we select that. And notice when I went to select that edge, it's given us the whole option. And we go tangent. Come out the sketch. Hopefully, yes, it's working. So that's just a quick um, insight. Blocks are super helpful. Um, there's a quick, there's a quick other one that I did, um, which is just another example. This is just one arm that I created and duplicated, and really quickly you can look at the range of motion or mechanics of how stuff works. Alright guys, so that's it for this week. Um, that's basically one uh, way that you can use blocks. Um, like I said, they're really helpful and um, there's a couple of other uses that I know of that I use. So I'll be sharing them over the next couple of weeks. Um, I'd be interested to know, do you guys use blocks? Did you know about them? Um, do you find them useful? How, how do you like to use them? Let me know. Um, I'd be interested to find out. And um, as always, if you've got any questions on this, um, please drop me a comment and uh, I'll, I'll try and help as always. Um, if you found the video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the notification button so that you know every week there'll be new content coming. Um, and thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it as always. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.